this. Hey guys, so I'm just combing out my brows right now with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going in with the dark brown pomade and I'm just using soft feather strokes to outline the bottom of my brow. So now I'm going to be outlining the top of my brow and I'm connecting that to the tail and I'm just using the same method, soft feather strokes and I'm just going to be doing that on both brows. So now I'm going to be cleaning up my brows just to make it a little bit more crispier just in case if I went out the line and I'm using the MAC, um, it's a Studio Fix Concealer and I'm using that basically to clean it up. Now I'm going to be setting my lids with uh, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to be using that with a fluffy brush and I'm using that all over my lids. So today I'm going to be using the Master Palette from Mario and I'm going in with the shade Isabelle and it's this burnt orange shade. So I'm using a fluffier, denser brush and I'm going to just be using this back and forth in my crease just for a nice transition color. So I'm going in with a pencil brush and I'm using this to make that cut crease a little bit more precisely and I'm using the shade Violetta and it's this rich dark brown shade and I thought it'd be perfect to cut the crease with just so it shows a little bit more depth. So moving on to the lid, I'm using this Bronx shade. It's this olive shimmery color. I thought it'd be perfect for this look. First of all, it's olive. And second of all, I was totally obsessed with it.
So now I'm going back in with that shade Violetta and I'm basically just darkening up that crease. I'm going back and forth from the outer edge into the inner crease. And now I'm going to be using a fluffier brush and I'm just basically blending it out, making sure there's no harsh edges and it will come together once you start blending, I promise you. For my face, I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear. I'm in shade 2.3 and I'm using a Real Techniques face brush and I'm just going to be dotting that all over my face and then blending it out. I absolutely love this foundation. It stays on all day and literally it's water resistant so that will not come off unless you scrub your face. I thought it was perfect for this look. I just honestly I love the coverage. I love the way it feels. It's very natural. It's just perfect. So I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm in Fair Neutral and I'm using this underneath my eyes to highlight. I now see why this concealer was so hyped up and it's been sold out literally everywhere. I found it on Ulta and I was like, I had to have it. So now I'm going to be dragging this concealer down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, of course the forehead, and I'm going to be blending this out with a Morphe Gunmetal brush. So now I'm going to just go back with the foundation brush and I'm just going to blend this out, making sure that there's no harsh edges and just so that it blends seamlessly. So I'm using the Laurie Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to be baking underneath my eyes just so that the concealer sets properly and it does not crease and just so that it stays on. going in with the MAC Skin Finish Powder in light medium and I'm just using this to set the rest of my face. It also helps bring back a little bit of color just from whatever the foundation washed me out in. So I'm going back with that pencil brush and I'm using Violetta again and I'm basically going to smoke out my lower lash line and it's going to help put together the entire look. So I'm going back in with a dense fluffier brush and I just want to blend out the lower lash line even more. So I'm using the shade Isabel and now I'm going to be dusting away any powder that was underneath my eyes and I'm basically going to cut that eye right there just so that it does not show any more eyeshadow going down. Now it's time for contour. I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion 30 Pen. I'm just going to be contouring my cheeks.
So once the face is warmed up, now I'm going to be contouring my jawline just to slim down my chin just a little bit. So I did add lashes and mascara off camera, and I'm using a limited edition from one of the collections called MAC Right for Love, and I'm using this along my cheeks. Going in with the glow kit, it's the holiday collection. I'm going to be using amber gold and white sand. I did like it, it is a little bit more chunkier than the usual uh, glow kit from Anastasia, but I found that it was a nice palette for the holidays. So I decided to use it today, and I'm just going to be highlighting my cheeks, my chin, of course, on top of my brows, even a little bit in the middle of my forehead, and of course, down the bridge of my nose. And now I'm going to be blending this out with just a clean blending brush just so that there's no harsh edges and everything blends in. So now I'm going to line my lips. I'm using the lip pencil called the Whirl. Then I'm using this all over my lips. And then I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills for the Scotch Gloss. I absolutely love this gloss. It's perfect for every day. It's nude, of course. Who doesn't love nude? I loved it. So this is the final look guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, thank you!